Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be showing y'all how I get a simple or basic manicure at home. And this is what I'm going to be working with today. So yeah, let's start. The first thing that I want to show y'all is this small little manicure bag that I have. It really comes with everything you need for a basic manicure. Um, has your file, your cuticle pu pusher, and your cuticle cutters. But in this video, I think I'm only going to use the cuticle pusher since I don't have a lot of cuticle. The next thing that I have here is an emery board. You will need one of these whenever you're doing a basic manicure just because they're really good when it comes to shaping or filing your natural nail. I love emery boards, but um, if you are going to be doing like acrylic nails or something like that, I would not recommend these because they are quite breakable as you can tell. Here I have a orange wooden stick i think that's what they're called i'm not sure why they call them orange wooden sticks but i'm gonna be using this as my cuticle pusher instead of like a metal cuticle pusher because i just feel like they're much gentle on your cuticle and here i have these two little buffers that i'm gonna be using on my nails to remove the shine and i'm probably gonna be using the orange one and we need nail polish so this is my top coat and base coat that i love using it's just a clear one and here is a nail polish that i'm going to be using today it's going to be from la colors color craze and the name is marlin i really love whenever they have those cute little names on them and now i'm just getting everything ready So now we can start. I'm going to start off by first pushing back my cuticle. Um, try doing this at a 45 degree angle, not like a 90 or anything like that because you can really harm your eponychium. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's that skin that sometimes people confuse with the cuticle. So just be careful. Alrighty, so I decided to go in with the metal um, cuticle pusher just to scrape off any dead skin that's left on the nail just to make sure that the nail polish really does stay there and it stays there long enough. Here I am just taking some sanitizer and using it to wipe away all of the things that I scraped off my nail plate. <laughs> so here you see me taking the cuticle clippers but the thing was that I really had no cuticle to really clip off and I think it's because twice a month I do cut my cuticles and I guess they just don't grow back as fast as I thought they did now I'm finally taking my emery board and I'm just lightly shaping my nails into, into an oval shape Lately, I've been really into oval shaped nails. I did used to be into like square nails, but now I'm just really liking the look of a nice oval shaped nail.
So now I'm gonna go in with my two small nail buffers and I'm actually gonna go with the purple one first and I'm just gonna go over the nail shape that I did with the emery board. And then I'm going to pick up the orange nail buffer and with this one I'm just gonna remove the shine from the top of my nails. I know that you do this a lot with like acrylic nails or even dip powder nails but um, I feel that whenever I do this with nail polish, it actually sticks on there longer and it doesn't chip as fast. So we finally reached the part where we start putting nail polish on our nail plates. And I'm gonna start off with taking out the nail polish brush and just swiping or wiping one side of that nail brush like that so we can have the right amount of nail polish on our nail plates. So now that the base coat has fully dried, it's time to put on the real color. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the clear nail polish. I'm gonna just wipe one side of the brush so that my nail isn't completely overwhelmed with a bunch of nail polish just going all over the place. Like this, you have just more control over the color.
And now we're on to the last step, which is adding a top coat. Always remember this step for adding more shine and for it to last a lot longer. Ta-da! We are done. This is the before and this is the after. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And please enjoy the ending of me singing True Love while my nails were drying. <laughs>